So hello guys, this is Dora and this is Dora Vlog. You're welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, let me introduce my channel to you. On this channel, I dedicate my time, my time, my precious time, digging out information that will help you in that your dream of migrating abroad, especially to Canada. Okay, yes. So I'm on Facebook. I am also on YouTube. So if you're watching me on YouTube, this is Dora Vlog. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching me on Facebook, please follow me. Don't just um, add me as your friend. Follow this channel, okay? That way, anything I drop, you will be able to get information on time because some of these informations are not there forever. It's occasional. Some of them come as a chance. For example, in my last video, I saw an opportunity for truck drivers to go to Canada, get a job from Nigeria or from wherever in the world and then migrate to Canada. Today, again, I saw another important, another very interesting information that will help you going to Canada. So if you haven't started following me on this channel, you may lose opportunity that will come your way one day. All right. So my dear, today I want to talk about the federal skilled trade programs. You know, like I said in my other video, I have tried to dedicate my time, especially give more information to those people who are feeling that all hope is lost for them, especially those uh, the hand workers, those that are not so educated, they don't have opportunity or they don't like schooling. They don't have opportunity of going to the university so you can't come as a student now or you did not even finish secondary school and you went to learn a trade so now you are feeling like oh had it been that i went to school i too can go to canada my dear i want to give you hope now i want to ensure you that you too can go to canada even your own will even be better because you are coming as a worker all right you're not going to show any um admission letter, you're not going to show that you have paid school fees and all that. So all you have to do is to raise your proof of fund that will show that you have a minimum amount you need to settle down in Canada. So I'm going to bring opportunity to bakers in this video. Bakers, yes, in the bakers, in the bake cake. Those who bake, in a make cake, in a make bread, in a bake chin chin, all those baking, eh? you know how to bake donuts everything bread you know how to do it well and you've been doing it for years hey this is an opportunity for you let's go straight to my let's go straight to my screen and i will show you, you know i like showing you hmm, life and direct all right so straight away um i am going to just show you how you can go to canada as a baker in a make cake, in a matching chin. <laughs> and this Christmas, you've been working out all your life. You've been working all your life. Mm -hmm. Look at it here, my people. So, this is it. You'll find your occupation classification. Now, let me start from the beginning. Let me actually start from the beginning where I go back. Um, we're talking about. We'll start from the beginning. So, eligibility to apply for the Federal Skilled Trade Program, Express Entry. So, we are talking about how, you know, eligibility, what, what we, requirements, okay? Requirements, what will make you to be eligible to apply, all right? So, and who are skilled trade? I've said it before, but I'm going to show you also here. Um... Who are these skilled trade people? They are people that I think where they explained who they are. Hmm? I'm going to show you. So he said on November 2022, we switched to version 21. This is the latest category of people going to Canada. So who are those people? You have different categories of jobs, okay, of people that want to go to Canada as permanent residents, not as students. You have different categories. They call them tier. They divide into T-E-E-R, tier. 
occupation type. So this is the tier group, and this is occupation type that falls into that group. And then this is the example of those occupations, okay? So we go straight to where uh, my attention is today, because I have a lot of sisters and brothers that are into baking. You have tier three. So if you are into baking, your group is tier three. Occupations that usually require what? A college diploma, apprenticeship training of less than two years. So you go around, you go see me for at least two years or more than six months of on the job training. On the job training is where the work is being done. You learn on the job. Okay. So who are these people? Look at number one, bakers. These are just examples, okay? Bakers, they are the first on the list. Dental assistants and dental lab assistants. So if you're a baker, these are the people I'm paying attention to today. So my dear, so let's go back again to show you what you need. So if you're a baker, you've seen it here. Hmm? Uh -huh. So if you are a baker, so you go and get your code when you, you can go down here to get your code, find your job title, get your code and all that and you apply. So let me go back to where I was coming from. So eligibility, how, what will make you eligible to apply? You have to have skilled trade work experience. That means you have experience being in this work. You have to show that you have experience. You have job offer or certificate of qualification. So either you have an employment letter where someone employed you as a baker, or you have certificates that you got when you, you finish, when you graduated from your training. And then language ability is for you to write uh, English test. Now, let me tell you about this English test. People who are in this category they don't require much, any one you get, okay, provided you can speak English. All right. So, said skilled trade work experience you must have at least two years of full-time work experience so you have done this for two years like i said in a skilled trade within the five years before you apply so within the last five years so even if you you are no more doing it now but within the last five years you did bake you worked as a baker full-time okay yes you can still apply you meet the job requirements for that skilled trade are set out in the national occupation What's the job requirements? You can check it out here on NOC. And then you have to show that you perform the duties listed as this occupation. How do you show that you perform the duties? I keep telling people, when you are doing this thing, you take videos of yourself doing it, okay? You can take videos of yourself, post it somewhere, save it somewhere. When the time comes, you give them the link. Now, um... So we will refuse your application if you don't show that your experience meets the requirements. If you weren't qualified to independently practice the trade occupation during this work. Now, this is where I want to bring my personal advice to some people here, especially my, um, I want to bring my personal advice here. See many of us in Niger and in some other African countries who want to just practice our trade without registering it. Anybody can just come and start practicing one trade. If you have ambition of traveling to abroad, especially Canada, to practice your trade, please go now and get yourself a document to show. For instance, you can get um you can get your um, if you if you learned it on the job training, on the job training means somebody that is into it, they took you and you are learning while working. That's okay, but you have to show yourself that you, you have to show the agreements. They signed the agreement before you started and your graduation, show it, take pictures of yourself. If you have been practicing on your own, please register your business. Pay your tax. We don't like to pay tax, but ever go on Jude Ginomi because you will not show that you can do business legitimately. So to show that you can you, you are qualified to practice this occupation, show your certificate. If you have been doing business and you have NAVDAC, all those things you are baking, you know NAVDAC, you show everything. Just go and get these things. Don't get them fake oh, because <laughs> don't get them fake, they will verify. Get your authentic papers that will identify that you've been into this business. All of them, all this in your work that you do your own, you don't pay tax, you adjust it over the years, name a business and where we're going to government. When you want to 
use it for this kind of opportunity. If we hold you here, you won't be able to do anything. It will be as if you have not been doing it. Okay. So that is that. So you have, have a job offer. You have or you are working for someone, you are not working for yourself. You can show your uh job offer of employment letter. All right. So these are people that are in Canada. So language eligibility, you can take this language test. Okay, you can take it, it's not difficult, but like I said, you have to just show them. And it says again, see an interesting thing I want you to see by yourself here. He said there is no education requirement for these federal skilled trade programs. I said it, those who did not go to school, even if you didn't go to secondary school, you did not pass Wayek. See, you have opportunity. They don't need English yes, for you to use your hand and do what you can do. Use your hand so that you can use it. That's what that's all. Hey, hey. And you will come here and start making your money. Remember me when you start making your dollars. Those of you are into baking. If you want to improve your rank in expect, express entry, there are two ways you can do this. If you went to school in Canada, you get points. If you have foreign education, you can get points if you have both of these a completed educational credential so if like this one will just help you to get more points because all this uh express entry pool is like pool is by chance when you apply and they want to pick people you know it's by tombon to bond they can just pick by chance so to increase your points to be on the top of the people that are going to pick if you have school, fine. So that's why school is good. But if you we are not fortunate to go to school, you still have opportunity. God will help you. All right. So what else do you need is to show that you have minimum money you need to um, settle in Canada at least. But he said, unless you have a valid job offer from an employer. So again, if you're into baking, you can get a job from a bakery firm here that will give you job offer. Once they give you employment letter, apart from bakers, I see all other this they call them federal skill trade programs. If you get a place to work, once they give you employment letter, all those headache of proof of fund is no more for you. Just look for your flight tickets and carry your family home to Canada. Hey, um, do you know the most interesting thing about going to Canada as a permanent resident? All the rights to that Canadian citizens enjoy, you will have it as the moment you enter Canada. Those people that go to Canada as students, they will have to spend either one year, two years going to school. Everything is different. You don't even have to run to government for free anything. Otherwise, it, is, it will backfire when you want to get your permanent resident. But if you if you are coming to Canada as a permanent resident, immediately you get to Canada, you can invite your brother-in-law. And you know that your your father, your mother, your children, those ones are settled. But this one, your brother, your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law, your sisters, in-law, all those people, your niece, one name Maggie, one name Paggy, you can pack them immediately. That's the beauty. The most interesting thing about going to Canada as a permanent resident. So if you can plan yourself, you have all these skills, if you can just calm down and look at the requirements, see how you can get it. You can see that even six months experience. So before the end of July 2024 that you're going to enter now, you can have everything ready and you apply to go to Canada as a permanent resident under a baker, under skilled Further skilled trade program, even as a baker. What I'm talking to in this video, especially those people that are into baking, because a lot of people bake, I know that they are baking, baking, they can bake cake, they can bake uh, donuts, and very wonderful. You see, if you come here and taste the cake in the Nigerian area, we know that Nigerian Swiss are So bring that to your creativity, okay, here, and you see how your life will never remain the same. Thank you so much for watching me. Please share this video as a Christmas gift to your friends who are into baking. As a Christmas gift to your people, share it, discuss it, plan your life. You never can tell who you help today with just giving information can become the person that will help you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Christmas. I'll see you again in my next video.
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Ciao, ciao, ciao.